it's Addie, and today we are watching Deep Impact. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, and if you are new here, welcome. Today we are watching Deep Impact, and I had so many recommendations for this movie after watching Armageddon. I feel like, it seems like just the two of those movies are just forever connected. I mean, same concept, same year. And I mean, over 25 years later, we're still comparing the two. We're still talking about the two together. So I guess I should just watch Deep Impact and see for myself, see which one I like better or if I have a preference between either of them. My understanding is that Armageddon was more of the blockbuster action movie for this genre, for this meteor disaster style. Uh, and this one, I believe, is more of a drama? At least that's my understanding of it. So I am excited to finally watch this movie today. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe for more reaction videos. And let's get into Deep Impact. What's the bright one? Uh, Mizar. The one next to it? Oh, she knows. Know. It's McGress. She knows! Oh. Well, it's not McGrath. It's it's something else. Yeah, it's probably a satellite. Let's oh, uh, take another picture. We'll send it to Dr. Wolf. Coming to Earth. It's McGrath. Not McGrath. <laughs> he knows what he's it's talking not. about. Oh. What is this star? Oh, hello there, little fella. <laughs> little fella? Yeah. I imagine it's a big fella. And it's going to hit us. Ooh. You know it's serious when you have to throw the pizza down. <laughs> oh, watch the road. Are you gonna hit this truck? Oh gosh. And he's the only one who knows about the meteor right now? He's the only one who knows. White House press office says Secretary of the Treasury Rittenhouse is resigning because his wife is sick. She's not sick, she's a drunk. Bob Campbell's leaving, so midnight Saturday anchor ship's opening up. You know what, just uh, keep working on Rittenhouse. You know, do the usual research, background Thank information. You. Hello, hey, little protecting me or Just holding me back. Yes, oh. okay. Oh, <laughs> yes and yes. Jenny, you now have a new stepmother who is two years older than you. As much oh. as I would like to stay here and get silly with Wild. you, I can't, I gotta go. I'm sorry about this. Mm. They'll get over it. I love you. I was with the secretary since he's been governor of Connecticut. Came to Washington with him. He could keep his hands off women. He had a private phone line installed in his office. It rings, he shuts the door. You have a name? Oh my God, I'm going to say it. Ellie. You said it. Can't go back now. Well, we'd like to talk about your resignation. My wife is sick. She's in the hospital. Well, we could talk about your wife, or we could just talk about Ellie. Ooh. If you want to talk to me, turn it off. We know everything. And you're just going to break it. Well, that's what we do for a living. Congratulations. You now have the biggest story in history. I know you're just a reporter, but you used to be a person, right? Ooh. I wanted to be with my family. Can you understand that? Written house resigns because of a mistress named Ellie. Biggest story in history? Well, okay, the president has a mistress named Ellie, and Rittenhouse pretends that he's having the affair and takes the fall and resigns. Oh, oh, oh. So oh no. Oh, they have you surrounded. Oh, God. I think you're onto oh, something. I think it is the president. Take care of your car. Just step back to my car. Is he the president in this movie? Tom Beck. Okay, maybe not the president. Mr. President, I'm not interested in oh, using he is the president. to further my career. What do you know about Eli? I know you should have picked a better cover story than a sick wife. We'd always thought the deadline for going public was the publication of the budget. But the budget comes out in two weeks. I don't suppose I could convince you to sit on this for two weeks. You want to hold it? For two weeks? Give us two days, Mr. Turner. You'll get second row center at the White House press conference. I want exclusivity. Now listen, young lady. This is a presidential favor. May I have the first question? We'll see you Tuesday, Miss Lerner. Come on, you can give her the first question.
There's just one result. Extinction level event. Oh, this is different than we thought. This is way different than you thought. So they do know about the asteroid. Hey, Chloe. Would you like some champagne, miss? Martini. Up. Big. Strong. I missed you. I mean, we missed you yesterday. I'm disturbed that you didn't come to our wedding. Jason. Jenny, I know this is hard. I just want you to be happy. Happy. Yeah, this is a little weird. To happiness and to... Oh, oh, she... Oh, 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 in one go. In one go. This is, this is going well. This is great. You have to get over it. Life, life goes on. Life goes on, okay. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. You need to get back together with Mom. Because she's oh. all alone in the world and she needs you right now. I gotta go. Oh, I guess it's been kind of a long day. It's been a weird day for you. Well, what are you uh, doing here? Uh, yeah. I think she earned her place here. Ms. Lerner. Oh, hi, Beth. Right this way. I've got you Ooh. right down here. Oh, you have a good seat to all of this. He'll find you for the first question, then you're on your own. Oh, you do have the first question. Good. A little over a year ago, two American astronomers, Marcus Wolf and Leo Biedemann, Saw something Nobody's saying in the night sky that caused them great concern. There was a remote possibility that the comet was on a path that could bring it into direct contact. But the okay, comet we discovered one. is the size of New York City. Ooh. About seven miles long. This comet is larger than Mount Everest. It weighs Ooh. 500 billion tons. Hmm. That can't be great for Earth. Sometime on August 16th, roughly a year Ooh. from now, there's a chance that we might have impact. Okay, I mean, we have a year to figure something out. And right now, a team of American astronauts and one Russian are at Cape Canaveral in Florida. They will leave on the shuttle Atlantis to board the Messiah. This is the crew that will stop the comet. Commander, would you introduce us to your team? I would be John honored, sir. Favreau. And rendezvous pilot Spurgeon Tanner. I want to be Robert Duvall, Duval too. You were the last man to walk on the moon, weren't you, sir? Yes, sir. Well, it's good to know we're going to have your kind of experience up there, Captain. Now I'll take a few questions. Well, you better give her the first question. There we go. Okay. Why wasn't this announcement made sooner? Well, until we knew we could build the rocket, we saw no reason to alarm the planet. Do you have another question, Ms. Lerner? MSNBC has learned that Secretary Rittenhouse did not leave for the reasons announced by your administration. Isn't it true, sir, that not everyone in your administration is convinced that the Messiah will save us? Ooh, how are you going to answer that? He resigned for personal reasons. But at some point over the next 10 months, all of us will entertain our worst fears and concerns. Life will go on. We will prevail. The two scientists who found the comet were killed in a car crash while racing from their observatory mm. to alert the world. So we named it for them. Wolf Biedemann. Leo, is he talking about you? He I'm is, isn't he? Dr. Wolf saw the comet in my photograph. <laughs> so he shared the discovery with me. He was killed in that crash and everything got mixed up in Washington. So the president yeah. thought I was dead too. Yeah, <laughs> but he's alive. You know, you're gonna have sex a lot more now than anyone else <laughs> in our class. <laughs> They're all cheering for that. Yeah. <laughs> famous people always get sex, Mr. Perry. That's the main reason it's good to be famous. Where did you learn that? <laughs> you remember my boys, don't you? Steve and Dwight? Of course I do. Is that Red Foreman? What do you think of the crew? Heroes all. That's the finest group I ever had the privilege of working with. Off the record. Huh? Well, they've been trained in ways I'll never understand. Well, they're not scared of dying. You're just scared of looking bad on TV. Oof. I woke up this morning and I realized none of you want me here. You don't even really know who I am, which is okay. So, what do we do? We get to know each other. We have a drink together. You haven't trained for this mission. You're here for public relations. That I'm the only person on this mission that ever landed on the moon. It's not a video game, so it really isn't. Oof. Now I have primary control. Day one. We're going up. Okay, Beth White House reactions. Marianne, the whole world. Five months watching. later. Whew. Time is flying. What about me? 
You're on the anchor. Wow. You could have been there a lot sooner. Don't ever hold back a story from me again. She's still not happy with you. Ooh. And we have to land on it. Woo! It's a little scary when you see the size of the ship next to how big it is. This is a special presentation of MSNBC News with Jenny Lerner. With Jenny! Look at you. Sometime Look in the next you. hour, the Messiah mission will enter its most critical phase. They've informed us that due to the uncertain makeup of Look the at their hands! Coma, oh my gosh, oh my gosh! So sweet. Oh, that young love feeling. Mm. Oh, not good. Okay. I mean, it looks like we'll have a smooth landing. Unless something is about to happen. Okay, we're good. Easy peasy. The astronauts should now be placing the moles on the comet's surface. They are drilling machines that burrow to a depth of 100 meters, where they wait to be detonated. It's taking too long. Mm. What happens if they do not get off the comet's surface in time? The sun uh -oh. striking the comet will cause the temperature to rise 350 degrees in just a few minutes. Well, if that happens, it will be like trying to work in a minefield. Hmm. It's stuck. Let's try backing it up. Not good. 75 feet. That's not deep enough. Yeah, Fish, I know that's not deep enough. Another six minutes, they won't have time to get back to us. Let's go get them. If we go after them, we may not have enough fuel to get off the surface. Oh, the goddamn tunnel. Down here. Oh, there we go. I'm afraid he's not going to make it up. The sun's rising behind you. It's coming up fast. Oh, gosh. Oh, oh, his face. Is that going to kill him? Oh, God. Oh. Are we gonna lose both of them? Oh, oh, this this is making me feel claustrophobic. Oh, the breathing. He's got escape velocity a thousand feet and climbing. Is it too late? Is it gonna cut? No, okay. Okay, okay, we're we're in. I thought it was about to cut an astronaut in half. All moles are at depth. Luke's hot and ready. He lost potential to explosive outgassing. Monash is injured. The Messiah has safely lifted off the comet, but sadly, Gus Partenza has been lost. Mm -hmm. Gus Partenza joined the NASA space program shortly after completing his medical training at Duke University. Not John Favreau. Oh, oh, that's rough. Talk about a sunburn. That is the sunburn of all sunburns. Safety's fire. Weapons armed. We're only like halfway through the movie though. I guess something has to go wrong. This is too soon for it to blow up. Well, I mean I guess I I guess it did blow up. I guess it did work. Yes. I'm still here. What what happened? Can, can someone talk and tell me what happened? Hello, America. It is my unhappy duty to report to you that the Messiah has failed. Mm. However, did not destroy the comet. Oh. There are now two pieces. Just... Oh gosh. Both are still on the path towards Earth. So now we have two comets coming to Earth. <laughs> Good. Our strategic missile command is preparing to coordinate with the Russians a massive strike of Titan missiles to intercept the comets. Unfortunately, Titans cannot be lost until the comets are only a few hours away. Ooh, that's very risky. We've been preparing a network of immense caves, and we can put a million people in them. And that million people can survive there underground for two years. A computer will randomly select 800,000 Americans. Other oh. countries are preparing similar caves along whatever lines they feel are best to preserve their way of life. But still, only a million people. And then you just have to go on air <laughs> after all of that? Oh my gosh, how do you follow up? How, uh, what, what do you even say? 
While some Americans over 50 years of age have been pre-selected for the ARC, no men and women over 50 in the general population oh. will be included in the lottery. Oh. Oh, to hear, oh gosh. To hear that you're probably going to die. Oh my gosh. Yes, this is Ellen Biederman. We've been pre-selected. Chuck, where are you going? Our phone, they could be calling. That's all there is. Oh. <laughs> yep, now we have two comments. Good. Seems kind of unfair that I got picked. You know, I'm not a doctor or a scientist. People need continuity. Everyone knows you, and they trust you. Don't worry about me. I'm going to be happy as long as I know you're going to live. Mm. Hi, Leah. A mob attacked and killed a Miami oh, Ridley Ridley. Yard operator. Oh, she had her baby. Mrs. Hotchner? Sarah's on the hill. Thank you. Why weren't you at school? My dad said I didn't have to go. He said there's no point. Hmm. I talked to civil defense. They said if you and I got married, we'd be family and I could get you in. How old are you? I don't want to go without my parents. Mm -hmm. You don't have to. I got them to let your family go too. This is your only chance to survive. I guess we're getting married. I mean, I'm, I'm glad this will save you and your family, but how old are you guys? Because <laughs> it doesn't matter because we're just trying to save her life. Are they, are they getting married? No. How much time do we have left at this point? Two weeks, okay. Yeah, I mean, I get it. Your face is looking better. You got a shit deal, Laura, you know that. Don't worry about me. I'm seeing things differently, fish. Well, that's mm. good. Why the hell do they call you fish? <laughs> <laughs> I am curious about that. Spurgeon, sturgeon, fish. I mean, that took about <laughs> 15 minutes of my first day at the Naval Academy. Your kids go there? Yeah, they did. I don't see as much of them as uh, I used to when Mary was alive. You don't have to talk about it. It's okay. You're a married man. You know what it's like. I mean, every marriage has its good years and its bad years. We ended on a great year. Anyway, let's get started. Moby Dick chapter one. Oh. <laughs> Oh, I love that we're getting to know each other, supporting each other, becoming friends. Meet him. Oh. Yeah, that's yeah. us. IDs, please. Yeah. This is my wife, Sarah. We have a marriage license. Um, right here. I'm afraid they're not going to let her on. Okay. Oh, okay. All right, let's go. No issue. Sir, my cool. parents are coming too. Wait, wait, the hot snows. They're not going to let her family? It's not here. No, 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 it has to be there. Fick just sent their names to the White House. They're not on the list. Wait, I'm sorry. Wait, let's go. We have sir, to go. Sir. They're not going to take them. I want to stay with you. What? No, 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 no. no. Get her on the bus. No, no, no. Get, no. Her. get on the bus. Let's go. Oh, she's she's staying. He tried. He really did. Gosh, is this just gonna be one heartbreaking story after another? Phone call for you. It's Robin Lerner, my mother. When? I'll come down there then. Thank you. Did she? Wait, the way that her mom was dressing up, it did feel, it did feel like kind of final, like this would be the last time. Uh. I already took care of everything. I want to talk to you. I don't give a sh Go mm. home and tell it to Chloe. She left me. How does it feel? I feel like mm. an orphan. Oh. Oh, only five days. I mean, there's still a possibility of them knocking the comets, of it bouncing off the atmosphere, right? I mean, they said that they're, they were going to try it. Huh. Welcome to the Ark. To gather your things and follow me to the orientation gallery. I'm not coming. I have to go back for Sarah. How are you going to get back, though? John, what are you doing? I'm giving you something to trade. That's what I'm doing. Oh. Take care of yourself, okay? Oh. I'm going to make it. Oh. Excuse me, Jenny. Yeah? Your father's here. I don't think she wants to see him. I can't stay long. I'm leaving the city, but I wanted to show you something. I wanted to show you that you are not an orphan. Where's mom? Behind the camera. She took this? Mm-hmm. You don't remember when you take them, hmm? I'm five years old. How would I remember that? 
There was no one else to hold the camera. She insisted. You know how she is, how she was. Oh. Keep them. Goodbye. This could be the last time you ever see him. We have now confirmed the launch of all the Titan missions from their positions and comets are now approximately 14 hours outside of Earth's atmosphere. 14 hours. Our missiles have failed. <gasps> comets are still headed for Earth. And there's nothing, nothing we can, we can do, do. There's nothing we can do at this point. If the world does go on, it will not go on for everyone. I mean, we just have a million Americans. To calculate the comet's final trajectory. And whatever other countries were able to do. The smaller of the two comets, Biedemann, will hit first. Somewhere along the Atlantic seaboard, probably in the waters off the coast of Cape Hatteras. There will be a very large tidal wave moving quickly through the Atlantic Ocean. The wave will hit our nation's capital 40 minutes after impact. New York City. Boston, Atlanta, Philadelphia, all will be destroyed. Oh. The impact of the larger comet will be nothing less than an extinction level event. Within a week, the skies will be dark with dust from the impact and they will stay dark for two years. Oh. So that's it. Good luck to us all. Ten hours. But there's truly nothing that we're going to do, unless they can do something. Has created a vent. A half a mile wide, at least two miles. Are they gonna have to run into it? I don't know if, if that would even work. How many nukes we have left in that? Four. If we can get the remaining bombs in that vent, now, we can't do anything about the little one, but uh, you know, it just might give them a chance. How are we supposed to get back off the surface once we've uh, once we we've gone don't. down there? But you would save all of humanity. We don't. Yeah. We'll all have high schools named after us. Oh, I mean, that's a big decision, but I feel like you have to at least try. There's nothing we can do about the smaller one, but we do have a plan. We need the army codes for the last four nukes. Army codes? You get the army codes. Get the goddamn codes! You can bury six people to high ground in West Virginia and take Jenny to the Ark. If you get a short one, you can give up your seat. Hmm. I guess the... Hmm. And you have no idea what that means. There's always a road. We'll be okay. Okay, that's it. Oh gosh, oh my gosh. You scared me. Gotta use the bike. Gotta find Sarah. Oh my gosh. They're gonna be stuck. The road was so crowded, it was obvious we weren't gonna make it to the wave that's come that we should be. Because she likes him here. And you see the You're taking her. Oh. Oh my gosh. She's going with you. What? You're taking my seat. Come on. Go. Oh my gosh. So many helicopters. Wow. So she's going to die? Oh my. I, I mean, even being at the top of a building, I don't think it's going to save you. Well, you haven't found her, but she found you! She's right there! Oh, she's taking the baby! I imagine her parents aren't gonna make it. I mean, this traffic is so bad. Oh, you, oh, you came here? Next to the water? Aren't you supposed to drive the other way? I mean, I, mean, I guess traffic would have stopped her. She wouldn't have made it out. Is her dad here? Yeah. When I was 11, I took $32 from your wallet. <laughs> Might as well come clean now. When you were a baby, I once dropped you on your head. <laughs> Oops. I mind when I said I didn't remember. I remember everything. I've missed you since then. Aww. Oh! Oh! Oh, it's hitting! Oh my gosh. And at this point, there's nothing to do but just watch. Oh, it's huge. And that's the small one. Oh, 
that's wild. Here we go. Oh. Oh. And now New York. Oh yeah, the parents aren't gonna make it. They're all running away from it, but I mean, there's nothing you can do. Are they gonna make it? I don't know. Oh, and we, st <laughs> we still have this second one. Are our families there yet? They're on their way, Messiah. We'll never be closer to home than we are right now. Hmm. Oh, and they have to say bye when to their families are... now. You promised me you keep doing your, uh, your church thing, and I'll be there right next to you. Oh. Haunting you. <laughs> better come back and haunt me. <laughs> Take care of daddy for me, okay? Well, she does a good job. She misses I mommy. I miss you. Oh. I love you, mommy. Oh. I hope they're high enough, but I don't know. Sounds are both on active duty. We tried to get him back, but we couldn't get him here on time. Oh. I'm sorry. I want to say goodbye to Mary. I want to tell her I love her. And ever since we've been apart every day, I think about her. Oh. Are you there? Mary? <laughs> I'm here. This is your father. Oh. His name is Orin. I named him after you. Oh. You brought him. Oh. Someone helped a little rocket. It's a mighty powerful rocket that you got there. <laughs> I'm hugging you both right now. Aww. I'm holding you. It's been a pleasure serving with you, Commander. Aww. The honor's all mine, Andy. Oh. It worked. You guys made it. Left with the oh, devastation so of the first. Close. The waters reached as far inland as the Ohio and Tennessee valleys. Wow. Millions were lost. Countless more left homeless. Cities fall, but they are rebuilt. So now, let us begin. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, I mean, we have a lot to rebuild. Oh my gosh. I am a wreck. I, I need to I need to look up some stuff about this movie. I I want to see who did the music. I really enjoyed the music throughout. Oh, I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> I didn't cry. I didn't cry at all. Let's see. Music by James Horner. What else did he do? Okay, he did Braveheart, Titanic. Okay, yeah, yeah. He's done he's done a lot of movies. Of course, he did Deep Impact. I just watched Deep Impact. <laughs> the music. I yeah. I just really enjoyed the music. It almost just had. I don't know. The music throughout was just, it was just really beautiful. And sometimes it was really hopeful. It just, it just really set the scene and helped move your emotions, made you emotional just throughout. Oh my gosh, this was, this was a time. Oh, I am emotional. I, I, I don't really want to compare Deep Impact and Armageddon, to be honest, because I mean, obviously same year, a similar concept with meteors coming to the earth, but just the way they were done, both movies were just so different. I mean, obviously Armageddon is more of the blockbuster action movie. And I, and I really enjoyed Armageddon. I didn't have any issues with Armageddon. It was a lot of fun and also heartbreaking and heart wrenching. But this one was also so good as well. I mean, I feel like this one, I guess, showed more of the humanity side. I mean, we just followed so many stories in this one. So many people... I mean, kind of in very various places of the U.S. and how it was affecting them. Uh, Elijah Wood's character. <laughs> I mean, he was so young, but it just, his story, I I guess at the end, it, it is hopeful. And I mean, he saved his gal and the baby, but it was still just heartbreaking throughout. Oh my gosh, what else? I mean, so many things happened in this movie. Um, The, the news anchor, what was her name? L Lerner, I know it's her last name. Crap, I'm, I'm forgetting. Jenny, Jenny? Jenny? Is that right? Her story. Oh. And then, I mean, hmm. I mean, so many tragic things happened, honestly, to everyone. But for her, 
she lost her mom in all of this process. I mean, that that was a tragic ending. But then she reconnected with her dad and then she was with her dad in those last moments. Ah, ah. There were just so many emotional moments in this movie. I mean, of course, it's going to be emotional. It's the end of the world, potentially. Uh, the The scene at the end, I think that's what got me the most. The scene where all of the astronauts were saying bye to their families. And he, I mean, you got to see each of them talking to their families and saying goodbye. Oh, so emotional. That I mean, that wrecked me. We got to know just each character throughout the movie. And so, I don't know, by the end, you're just really connected to everyone. So, I mean, through the, I mean, not everyone can survive. Obviously, in this movie, that's not going to happen. But to see all these characters that you grow to love, and then you see what happens to them. Uh, but I mean, they I mean, they saved humanity by doing that. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I am. I'm collecting myself. I do feel like for me, probably the first hour was a little bit slow. I mean, you're you're having to take in so much information and learn so much about all of these different characters. But that last hour, I feel like things really started to pick up as soon as they found out that the moles, I think is what they call them. The moles didn't work. The comets are indeed coming to Earth. I think things really started to pick up and I started to just care so much about the characters. And then, I mean, the ending, we all saw it go down. Oh my gosh, this one was an emotional journey, but I really enjoyed this movie. I also, I mean, Morgan Freeman as the president, I, I feel like every movie with Morgan Freeman, Morgan Freeman just makes any movie just a little bit better. I mean, I I really enjoy Morgan Freeman. I probably need to watch more Morgan Freeman movies because I don't actually think I've seen all that many of his movies. Obviously, I've seen Shawshank. I've seen Seven. He was in The Dark Knight. It's been so long since I've watched The Dark Knight. I forgot that he was in The Dark Knight. Yeah, so I mean, I've seen a few of his movies, but I certainly, I know there's, <laughs> he obviously has so many movies. He was in Batman Begins and The Dark Knight Rises. How have I forgotten that he was in these movies? Hold on, I, ne I need to, I need to go down a rabbit hole. <laughs> I, for I just forgot that he was in, who was, who was that character? CEO and president of Wayne Enterprises. Ah, oh, he was in those movies. I, it's just been a second since I watched them. Anyway, that has nothing to do with this movie. That has to do with Morgan Freeman, but... Overall, I really enjoyed this movie, and obviously, uh, this was just an emotional time. <laughs> well, this was Deep Impact. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe, and we will see you next time.